Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm late again. I've had two days working in the mornings doing things. I need to get out before I do videos and I get delayed. But hey, we must get the videos out. We must get the gospel out. This channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the advancement of the kingdom of God. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Why? Because we need this sharing. We need the gospel sharing, not just what I say, but you guys sharing it. That's what makes it work. If I make one video and put it on YouTube, I'll be lucky if I get one view in however. It'd be very lucky. It won't go anywhere. Try it. Do one video, put it on YouTube and do nothing else, and it won't go very far. It goes far because people share it. That's how it goes far. So what we're doing is putting the gospel on here and the end times and the signs never on here so that you guys can do your bit and share it because the gospel will go out if you share. It's as simple as that. Subscribe <laughs> and hit the notification bell. Another thing is YouTube will continuously unsubscribe you from all channels. It's the thing they do. If you haven't watched them for a while, they tend to unsubscribe you. So do check the your favourite people. But the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, we're here in the end times now, no doubt about it. And we're looking at some news today. But you're coming to tribulation period and there's no doubt about it. Well, in, in, I'm pretty sure it's in my lifetime and I'm near the end of the beginning. But if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. Saved from what? You're saved from eternity in hell. Hell is written more times in the Bible than heaven. I've got to say this over and over again. This is the gospel message. If you want to find the gospel, find it in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4, and the link in the descriptions. That's where the gospel lies. Looking at a bit of news today, and going on from what we put out last night, do continue to share that video, guys. The, the video of do not take the vaccine. That needs sharing. Because Johnson & Johnson pauses COVID-19 vaccine trial after unexplained illness. That's news. That's on the breaking news. So they, they, they're rushing it. And we know from what we've seen last night, go back to the previous video if you haven't seen it and watch it. That The doctor is making it quite clear along with everybody else. The whole thing is screaming at us that this is control. And just to show is that it's not just America that's getting hit, the whole world is as we know, but Kilimanjaro, hundreds battle. Oh, what's going on here? Hundreds battle to contain a fire on the slopes of Kilimanjaro. This is Africa's biggest mountain. Tanzanian residents, students and firefighters were battling on Monday to contain the fire that broke out on Sunday on Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain. The National Park Service, Tanapa, said and it's a big fire there's photographs here and it's uh, a long fire and it's funny how it looks to be in different places it's not like it started somewhere and gone out it's not one place so again it's happening why why are we talking about them because it's end times it's end times why do we know it's end times because all the signs are here this is the message once a day remember my promise is once a day fail just once the gospel will go out like it and share it, guys. Kenya Muslims open fire on a bus, try to separate passengers by religion, but discover they're all Muslims. The jihadis apparently plan to execute the Christians on the bus. Oh dear, only there weren't any. This was reminiscent of other incidents, including, including when Muslims in Minnesota asked mall shoppers if they were Muslim and then stabbed them, stabbed the non-Muslims. And there's a lot, there's a catalogue of these things, which I'll be putting over on the Patreon account. That's where I put the, I don't show a lot. I'll do the background and green screen when I feel safe because YouTube will shut us down. I am actually thinking of starting a backup YouTube channel just so we can all go if it all gets a problem. But time, I need to get the time. So Patreon is set up, do, do join that. Not forgetting... Discord is 2,800 people in there now. Join us on Discord. It's a full-on chat, church, rooms, the whole nine yards. It serves well. Come with a humble heart. 
and, and start start where you feel you belong. Just all I ask is that you take it easy on the administrators. They are doing their best. I don't mean take it easy, easy. I mean, do not abuse them. Do as they ask. That's all I ask. But read the server rules. And again, persecution in Sweden. Swede, Sweden Christian students ordered to remove cross for school photo. Muslims allowed to keep veils. What's the point of having a photograph with a veil on? Is this is it mad? Not to mention that just we can see, remove the cross. The principal of the school distanced himself from the incident and said that the photographer made a mistake. Oh, so it got out. <laughs> or maybe it was a mistake, you know, a cross is shine in the flash and all that. But no, he should have made allowances for that. And, you know, we, it, it is a lot of news, it's just news. So we've got to be realistic about it. We, we need to focus on what is actually appertaining to prophecy, which I keep saying I will do, but so much other stuff comes in, I forget to do it. Like this one, it's interesting. We'll get anything to sell newspapers, to be honest with you. And I, I tried to pick off, but thank God it wasn't Delta flying us in when we killed Bin Laden. We weren't wearing masks, ex-Navy SEAL who killed al Qaeda leader hits out after airlines bans him for a mask, maskless selfie. But they're not above the law. You know, just they did do this. They did sign up to do that. They did all the service and we do appreciate our forces. But the law's the law. Delta Airlines, it's this they're making out Delta Airlines to be wrong here. You know, they're not. And I, I don't know how much of this is a con uh, COVID-19 or pandemic, as we call it, because it's we know it's end times. And it's certainly a plan because God knew it was going to happen before it happened. Let's not forget that, that God wrote Revelation because he wanted to tell us he has full control. Full control of what's coming and what's coming down. Well, if you're wondering what we're doing, talking about end times, then it's all in the book of Revelation. Well, not just the book of Revelation, but that's where you find the generic story of what's coming down in Revelation. Seven years like the world has never seen before. Never seen before. And we've some, seen some terrible, terrible stuff, but never. It's world, global um, devastation. A bit like you've seen in the movies, I guess. It always baffles me how Hollywood knows these things. Or does someone write a script after reading the Bible? But if you want to know some of what it's going, then go to Revelation. Go to chapter 6 and read on to about chapter 19. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Guaranteed. How do I know it's going to happen? Because all prophecies were 100% accurate up to it, up until to date. How do I know it's now? The biggest significant sign is that Israel was made a nation in a day in 1948. That ushers in, in this generation, 70 years, 80 stealth. That's how we know. If you want to know more Discord, please go to Discord. We'll open up there. And all I can leave you with for now, and there will be other videos, I will spend a bit more time this afternoon and tie stuff in and be out again with at least one more video today. Failing a bit here, but I'll just leave you with May God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you. Remember... I've booked a picnic in heaven. I want to see you all there.